you looking forward to the soup? Yeah, very much so. Uh, I've been involved in Jim Carner from the very beginning. Um, our very first event, I believe, was in Spain like five years ago or something. And it's it's been an incredible journey. The time and effort that the guys at Monster Energy have put into this sport is has been insane. And it really gives people the opportunity that come from just a regular background at home with mum and dad in a garage, the opportunity to go and drive against people like Petter Solberg, three times rally champion, Ken Block, Jim Carner star, Luke Woodham, four times Jim Carner champion, you know, and people are, ch are challenging these drivers and really taking them to town and uh, it's great to see like real homegrown especially UK talent that is coming up and showing people what can be done. I think what's great about the sport is it is inclusive isn't it it doesn't matter what your creed colour background um, your, your social standing male female it is a sport that everybody can compete with as equals yeah and it really gives people the opportunity they can build a car at home they don't have to have a bank load of money to be able to get involved in this sport it's real grassroots and it's got some really interesting people at the very other end of the scale like for instance Petter uh, you know Ken Nick Hamilton, all these big names in motorsport come to this event, compete, and I've seen drivers that have built a car on a real tight budget come and actually do really well. It's it's a it's an it's a, an event that showcases raw talent and gives people the opportunity to come and show the showcase that. And when you first got into it, how how did how did it come to fruition? How did it happen? Um, so basically, uh, Jim Connor Grid was obviously the. You know, the, it, it's it's the show of Ken Block, uh, which obviously Monster put on the road for everybody to come and compete in. So um, having Monster as one of our sponsors of our program, they gave us the opportunity to come and be involved in it. We really, really enjoyed it and loved being a part of it. And uh, we just basically kept asking to come back. Uh, we haven't won it yet, but we're still trying. Uh, again, it's, it's a tough one. You know, there's a lot of talent on the grid. There's a lot of people that turn up and you think, you know, this is going to be hard. And they really do prove themselves when it comes to the track. I mean, that's the one thing I noticed when I saw the film, it, it is very much about the taking part. Yes, people want to win and they're out there to win, but it's very much about the taking part as well. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, one of those events that's absolutely awesome to be a part of. Um, you know, we've gone to Spain, we've gone to the UK, we've been in Africa last year, and uh, it gets people from all different walks of life coming to the track and being a part of something, and it's, you know, it's amazing to be a part of it myself. And, and any inspiration for young drivers that are wanting to get behind the wheel and, and give Jim Garner a go? I mean, I started in go-karting and uh, it got really, really expensive really quick because it's hard because it's sort of funded always by mum and dad when you're young. And I went from there into car racing and then I saw this element of drifting in Jim Carr, and I was like, that looks really cool, a lot of fun to do with cars. And uh, it just kind of went from there, really. I built a car at home with dad and then I've made a career out of it. Ten years later, I'm now travelling the world, racing cars all around the place. And uh, it's, Jim kind of gives people the opportunity to make dreams come true and that is exactly what it's done for a lot of drivers here tonight.